How to check screen time on Android is a crucial topic that needs to be covered today. In this video, we'll walk you through the process of accessing and analyzing your screen time data, giving you important information you can use to properly control your online behavior. So let's start right now. Let's first examine the importance of screen time monitoring in the current digital era. Even though smartphones have become an essential part of our lives, excessive use can reduce productivity, cause sleep disturbances, and even result in addiction. You may become more conscious of your behaviors and take charge of your digital well-being by monitoring how much time you spend on screens. An effective solution called Digital Well-Being is available on Android handsets. Go to your settings, scroll down, and select the Digital Well-Being option to access it. You'll see a summary of your screen time, app usage, and notifications once you get there. We can now analyze your screen time data to learn more about your usage habits since you have access to it. Tap on Dashboard. The time spent on each app is broken down and categorized by daily and weekly usage. Keep track of the apps that take up most of your time. Are they social media networks or productivity apps? It's critical to be aware of how much time you spend using certain app categories. Do you use entertainment apps more frequently than learning or fitness applications? You can use this information to determine areas where you might want to make changes to have a healthy digital balance. Now that you know how you use your apps, Let's look at how to establish app timers to limit the amount of time you spend using each one. App timers let you set a specific amount of time aside for each app, which might help you focus and cut down on mindless browsing. Tap on Dashboard under Digital Wellbeing in your Android settings to establish an app timer. From the app's right side, select the timer icon. Set the desired time limit from there, and the app will be halted for the rest of the day once you've reached it. You may prioritize chores that are important by setting priorities for your time thanks to this tool. View my Google News Time Setup to see how it works and what happens when the time runs out. That's it. You cannot use this app anymore. Nice. This is very useful. The Digital Wellbeing app's bedtime mode is a crucial component. Even while bedtime mode might be useful, it's important to develop wholesome bedtime rituals and habits that go beyond just relying on technology. The key to keeping a regular sleep pattern is to prioritize restorative sleep, create a relaxing environment, and limit screen time before bed. To open the settings, look for Bedtime Mode and tap on it. When you first set it up you have some options that you can check. I will just tap on Next and Done as I will explain in a few seconds every option. There are a number of options to personalize your experience in the bedtime mode settings. Explore each one separately. Of course, on the bedtime routine, you can set up your information about when this mode gets activated. Tap on Customize. Do not disturb. By setting your device to Do not disturb before going to sleep, you can prevent notifications, calls, and alerts from waking you up. Grayscale. When Grayscale is enabled, your device's screen will be changed to black and white for sleeping. This can lessen the stimulating effects of vibrant panels and limit the allure of using your gadget. After configuring the settings to your liking, hit the button to turn on bedtime mode. Now, the mode will automatically turn on at the times you've selected for going to bed. Another important feature of digital well-being is focus mode. The purpose of focus mode on digital well-being is to help you minimize distractions and stay focused on important tasks or activities. It is designed to create a more productive and mindful digital environment by temporarily disabling certain apps or app notifications that may hinder your concentration or cause interruptions. When you activate focus mode, you can select specific apps that you find most distracting or disruptive to your workflow. Once focus mode is enabled, these selected apps will be paused, and you won't receive notifications from them until you disable focus mode. The main goals of focus mode are increased productivity, by temporarily blocking or pausing distracting apps, focus mode allows you to stay focused on your work, studies, or any other task that requires your full attention. It helps reduce the temptation to constantly check social media, instant messaging apps, or other time-consuming applications. Enhanced concentration. Focus mode eliminates visual and auditory distractions from selected apps, allowing you to concentrate better on the task at hand. It promotes deep work where you can engage in uninterrupted and focused work for more extended periods. Reduced procrastination. Many people struggle with procrastination, especially when it comes to tasks that require effort or concentration. Focus mode helps combat this by removing potential sources of distraction and creating an environment conducive to getting things done. 
To activate focus mode go to digital well-being and tap focus mode. Pick the apps that are the most distracting for you to use. These apps will be momentarily disabled while focus mode is activated, allowing you to focus on vital work without distractions. Activate focus mode when you wish to get things done faster. While digital well-being offers insightful information, you might also think about enhancing your experience by using third-party screen time tracking apps. These programs provide extra features like thorough reporting, statistics on screen unlock, and even options to completely prohibit apps. Popular third-party applications include Moment, Rescue Time, and App Usage. Make sure to study the features of each app to determine which one best meets your needs. Each app has its own collection of functions. Keep in mind that these apps can be helpful friends in your quest for effective screen time management. There are additional tactics you may use besides employing screen time monitoring software to keep up a healthy smartphone usage habit. Let's talk about some of them. First, think about setting aside times when using a phone is prohibited, like during meals, family time, or while engaged in hobbies. This makes room for deep interactions and encourages present moment immersion. Establish phone-free periods, particularly before night, in the second step. To encourage healthier sleep, it's essential to allow yourself a technology-free wind-down period because the blue light emitted by smartphones can disrupt the quality of your sleep. Last but not least, be attentive when using your smartphone. Consider whether you intend to use your equipment for a certain purpose before taking it up. Be deliberate in your actions and refrain from mindless scrolling. Congratulations! You now know how to monitor your screen time on an Android device and have practical methods for controlling your online behavior. Always keep in mind that finding a healthy balance between technology and your life will improve both your productivity and well-being. You can take back control of your screen time by using Android's built-in features like digital well-being, setting app timers, and investigating third-party apps. Create a positive digital environment for yourself by combining these tools with the tips we covered, such as phone-free areas and attentive usage. We appreciate you being here today. We sincerely hope that this video has given you insightful information and useful suggestions for managing your screen time. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel if you found this content to be useful if you want to learn more tech-related advice. To put technology to work for you, keep in mind that you have the capacity to take charge of your digital life.